the Union Aerospace Corporation is the largest corporate entity in existence. Originally focused on weapon and defense contracts, new ventures have expanded into biological research, space exploration, and other scientific endeavors. With unlimited funds and the ability to engage in research outside of moral and legal obligations, the UAC controls the most advanced technology ever conceived. transition there from the intro cutscene of our ship approaching Mars to it gradually panning out and revealing the control station even 17 years after the game was released that is so impressive to me and holy crap look how good this game looks I mean I'm immediately comparing it to Half-Life which I played this time last year and uh, it's a significant jump up five years passed between the release of the two this is my first time going through vanilla Doom 3 I first played this game Oh, about eight years ago when they released the BFG edition. That was my only experience with the game. I didn't realize at the time that that was quite unpopular and that uh, it had removed a number of features that were present in the original game and also kind of dumbed down the content somewhat. Anyway, when you push an interactive computer interface, your weapon, if, it will, yeah, if equipped, will lower and you can use the fire button to interact with the computer. This is one of the coolest aspects of Doom 3 I've always felt. The ability to interact with these various consoles. I really cannot understand why it didn't become more common in other games as well. It must be technically perhaps kind of difficult to program. But you can interact with these things. So here's our ship, Dark Star Phantom Class, I think it said in the intro. And you can see the kind of shipments that they are sending out, heading back for Earth, I take it. So we've got some administration supplies. We can look through everything here. Some classified containers here. Uh, containing biological specimens there. Four small, one large. I wonder what those can be. We can also check what was coming in. Looks like general military ration packs, armor shards, uh, biological things coming into us, classified stuff. Interesting. All sorts of stuff there. Anyway, let's get moving here. Welcome to Mars. All new arrivals need to check in at reception. And you may notice here I'm playing with the 3D sound enabled, so you'll get the best experience listening to this or watching this Let's Play if you've got your headphones on as well. If you're looking for someone to help you, just head to reception. I gotta process the cargo log. I can't talk with you now. If I don't get this log to Central Authority, it'll be my neck. Please move along. I love the way the kind of sound echoes in this environment. It was one of the things I was most impressed by when I played Half-Life last year. Welcome was... to Mars City, Union Aerospace's premier research facility. To expedite your processing, please proceed directly to reception. I gotta get out of here. I'm getting off this rock, and you should too. If you're staying here, watch your back. You should be careful. It's not safe here. Trust no one. So why is it not safe then? Look at this ship design here. It is really unusual to look at. I think it draws a lot of inspiration from the ships from the Matrix, like the Nebuchadnezzar, with these kind of, oh wow, I don't even know how you would describe them there to keep it kind of aloft. But it's just, it does not look 
It looks very organic, like some sort of huge bloated fly as opposed to an actual traditional depiction of a, a spacecraft. Anyway, heading around here, I think I've got another console here. Can look more in detail. This tells us more or less the same thing that we were seeing on that console down at the bottom. I guess some of the supplies lying around here are perhaps gonna get loaded up onto this thing. Let's progress here. Look at the deep shadows here. It is so beautiful, this game. I mean, certain aspects of it are like you see the age in other ones. It's, it's still just technically really impressive what they're able to do with the lighting system in this game. Welcome to Mars, Marine. I'm gonna need you to step on one of those red squares on the floor for a bio scan. This will only take a second. Okay, let me get this started. You're gonna need to hold still. Moving around only makes the test take one. Alright, bio scan looks good. You're cleared for entry. Here we go. On behalf of the UAC, welcome to Mars City. This facility serves as the central hub for all scientific research, Attention. archaeological Director study, Bears. and military Please report operations. To central administration. Goal number one at the UAC is the safety and well-being of all employees and guests. To help achieve this goal, we ask you to follow all UAC corporate procedures at all times. This includes restricting your movement to areas for which you have clearance. Always remain alert and aware of what you and others are doing. If you notice anything out of the ordinary, or just have a simple question, find the nearest UAC security guards. They are here to help, no matter how large or small the problem is. Our station on Mars provides a perfect blend of work habitats, recreational facilities, and social support structures. This ensures our goal of providing a true home away from home experience for everyone. Keep this in mind as you help us pursue our groundbreaking research that is destined to transform the daily lives of everyone here and throughout the solar system. If you need more detailed assistance, please see your human resources manager. If you are a guest, you may bring up any issue with your appointed UAC liaison. Thank you, and have a nice day. I really am going to be soaking in all the atmosphere from this first chapter of the game before things all go wrong. So if you want to skip forwards to the action, that's fine, I understand. You can skip forwards to the next video and perhaps the one after that where things all go uh, badly wrong. Here we go, departure arrival times as well. Looks like the ship we arrived on is set to depart later today, Mars Standard Time. Uh, November is Safety Awareness Month on Mars and the UAC has scheduled a variety of workshops to help promote safer working environments for everyone. Download now to learn more about what you can do. Well, we can't do that at the moment because we don't have our PDA on us. Various consoles here. I won't bother interacting with them. None of them are going to open for us. Welcome to Mars. First time? You can just leave your bag there. I'll have it set up your quarters. Okay. There's a few things we need to take care of first. This is your personal data assistant. You'll need this to access all secure areas. If you get clearance for any security zones, it'll download directly. It's important. So don't lose it. I see here that Sergeant Kelly has requested your immediate attention. Head directly to Marine Command. It's just that way. Follow the signs. Okay, our first look at our PDA here. PDA is critical to your work with the UAC. Toggle your PDA with the assigned tab. Blah, blah. Your PDA contains your security clearance, personal email, audio logs, video discs, and other important infantry and mission information. When you pick up another UAC worker's PDA, their information is downloaded directly to your PDA. Simply click on the name and navigate the window access through the data email, video disc buttons, blah, yada, yada, yada. UAC employees store vital information on their PDAs that can be used to unlock the secrets of the facility. This information includes embedded uh, security access, storage locker codes, and personal information relayed through audio logs and email. So here's us then. Our name, player. Hmm, well, okay, we need to talk something about that. Uh, ID number, departure lounge. Oh yeah, so every room in this game, you have to see at the kind of bottom left of the screen here, it tells you exactly where you are in the facility. I've never once seen kind of like a, a complete map of the Mars City facility, like I have numerous times, different interpretations of kind of the Black Mesa complex in Half-Life. I'd love to see one of those, uh, but I don't think anyone's ever done it. Marine security, Marine HQ is our security clearance. Uh, user emails. So, Director W. Banks, welcome message. I think we heard a call for this person to go and uh, respond the, over the tannoy earlier. Welcome to Mars Marine. I would like to take a brief moment of your time and welcome you to what we call our home away from home. We will make every effort to make you, your stay here as pleasant as possible. If you need something, please feel free to contact your supervisor for immediate assistance. 
I hope that you can find the time to take advantage of some of our great staff amenities. As a reminder, we engage in technical, highly secure testing and research here. Please refrain from wandering into unauthorized areas. Any security team member will assist you if help is needed. Sincerely, Director William Banks. Marine, report to Marine Command as soon as possible. Don't waste any time getting here. We're short on troops and I need you out on patrol as soon as possible, Sergeant Kelly. Okay, our date here then, the 15th of November, 2145. Uh, blimey, that's not that long ago. That's almost like 10 days ago when I'm recording this. Video discs, uh, Marine Command briefing. Let's check this here. Welcome to Mars, Marine. This briefing is designed to acquaint you with a few of the standard operating procedures here on the Mars post. First and foremost, chain of command. All enlisted personnel are under the command of Master Sergeant Thomas Kelly. Sergeant Kelly will assign you to a security detail headed by a security chief. Please report to your security chief for all duty-related concerns. While on duty, please stay in your assigned patrol coverage area. All PCAs have been pre-designated to provide overlapping security and maximize efficiency. All personnel must have proper authorization in assigned areas. Be sure to annotate any discrepancies on your security inspection report. Safety is integral to all operations here on Mars. Handle firearms with extreme caution. Never discharge weapons in an area that may compromise the installation's structural integrity. Remembering these procedures is paramount to your success here on Mars. Keep in mind that you represent the greatest fighting force in the galaxy, and your actions are a reflection on the core. Take good care, and good luck on your new assignment. Now's as good a time as any to mention the fact I'm playing on Veteran Difficulty, which is the equivalent of Ultra Violence in Doom 3. It's the hardest difficulty that's uh, available by default. What is this here? So this is telling us who was on that uh, ship that's just arrived. Nightmare, much like in Classic Doom, has its own challenges in this game. Essentially, you start with a late game piece of tech right at the beginning here, but also your health uh, drains all the way down to 25. So you're constantly uh, encouraged to be as aggressive as possible while you've got what little health you do. Killing enemies will restore your health, uh, that sort of thing. It's a, a unique challenge. Anyway, let's read what this guy has to say. I have processed all incoming personnel from Flight 4409. PDA was issued to the Marine on board, and I sent them directly to Marine Command at Sergeant Kelly's request. The other two UAC reps were sent to the conference room at Petruga's request. Supplemental. I would also like to add that this new transfer is exceedingly rude. He has hovered over me, reading everything I type. Stop it. Right then, well, let's pick up our video disc here. Let's see what else we have to see. Back to our PDA. Welcome to Mars. This is going to be the same as what we just watched in the previous room. Speaking of the previous room, there was a uh, control thing over here. We can download it onto our PDA. Let's do that and read the uh, new email we have access to. User email. Safety committee, safety awareness week. Safety is critical to every, everything we do on Mars. We will review all standard safety protocols during the month of November, Safety Awareness Month. It is mandatory that you schedule time to attend each of these valuable workshops. Proper plasma handling, review of the proper storage of plasma, how to handle plasma leaks, and the best way to treat plasma burns. Emergency first aid. Learn the location and correct use for all of the health bikes placed throughout the facility. Special attention will be given to the waste prevention methods. Health resources are squandered if a large pack is used when only a small pack is needed. Little gameplay tip for you there. Storage of weapons and ammo. Special lecture on safe storage of weapons and ammo. Fred Nelson will be giving hands-on lessons in proper targeting and strafing. Emergency loss of environment. This lecture will focus on what to do if you are faced with an air leak, structural failure, or airlock failure. Special care will be paid to the locations of emergency air tanks. See postings outside UAC HR for times and locations. So they take safety seriously in this facility, it would seem. My what city else? is a smoke-free facility. Please smoke only in designated areas. Thank you for your cooperation. Code Black, missing staff. UAC Security is looking for a missing scientist. We need your help to ensure he is found quickly and safely. Please report any information to your appointed HR manager. Let's see what this is about. Uh, Dr. Jonathan Ishii from Delta Science Team is missing. Security is concerned that he may be injured or unable to respond to pages or return to his post. 
Please keep an eye out for Dr. Ishii and report to UAC security if he is located. He was last seen in Mars City Underground approaching the airlock leading to the old communications array. What's this down here? Don't know. Right, let's move on here. Somebody's moving around in there. I can actually see a wee medikit just there. Haven't seen you before. You must be with that new detachment coming to check on us. We can get a good demonstration of the 3D sound in here. Is there some type of problem? I'm just trying to get my work done here. I'm trying to get these systems reconfigured so I can't talk them. Oh, that sounds strange. I'm here because there seems to be some very serious problems. Oh, really? Do I need to remind you of the groundbreaking work that we're doing here? No. But I've been authorized by the board to look at everything. The board authorized you? Hmm. The board doesn't know the first thing about science. All they want is something to make them more money. Some product. Don't worry. They'll get their product. After how many accidents? Tell me, Dr. Petruger, why are so many workers spooked complaining requesting transfers off Mars? They simply can't handle life here. They're exhausted and overworked. If I had a larger, more competent staff and bigger budget, even these few accidents could have been avoided. I'm afraid you'll get nothing more until my report is filed with the board. I will need full access, Dr. Petruga, Delta included. I won't have any difficulties doing that, will I? Only if you get lost, Swan. Just stay out of my way. Amazing things will happen here soon. You just wait. Let's go. One of those guys is a villain. Can you tell which one it is? Speaking of, look at this little Easter egg in the top left of the screen. There's Dr. Petruger on a console. Data file, artifact ID, recovered from uh, some sort of archaeological caverns, archaeological dig site. And the item on the screen there seems some sort of cube with one kind of edge showing elaborate designs and markings. Interesting. What could that be related to? One rail station. Let's move along this way. Listen, buddy, you don't have clearance for this area. Move along. What is this? Administration. I can't help you here. Head to Marine Command. They can help you. If you don't move out now, they're gonna bust both our asses. God damn it, Marine. Get out of here. Gonna have a look at his assault rifle there. Let's move further into the facility here. Continue making our way towards Marine HQ. I don't think I've seen you before. You must be a replacement for one of the guys we lost. Try not to let this place get in your head. Just stay focused on your job. And you'll be back on Earth before you know it. Not a lot to do around here, but watch your back. He's just come from the bathroom here, and look at this. For a technological marvel in 2003, we have working mirrors. We've got quite an aggressive stance going on here. Look at this. Got our fists out here. Ugh. But yeah, that's always impresses me. Even today, in 2020, there are games where you just don't have mirrors. They're either just absent because they don't can't pull off the technical limitations or work them out in order to get them convincingly working, or they're just completely kind of blurred and grey and you don't see anything. The Union Aerospace Corporation denied allegations today of several reports showing a growing military presence on Mars. A spokesperson stated that increased activity is simply a tactical deployment to outlying planetary sectors. Authorities continue to search for the activists responsible in Monday's bombing of a biomech production facility, resulting in the destruction of hundreds of biomech labor units. In space news, mining station Amon is reporting 9 dead and 28 wounded in what appears to be an ore canopy failure during routine operations. This is the fifth incident in a string of mishaps that have plagued asteroid strip mining facilities in recent months. Deep Space Probe Madridi successfully executed the first of four engine bursts designed to alter the probe's course, according to officials. The probe's logic core first requested the diversion following yesterday's discovery of a negative light object outside the orbit of Sedna. The probe is set to resume its outer system mapping mission next week, following further scans of the fluctuating anomaly. Faint signals continue to be received from the failed Europa orbiter. 
which is said to be further evidence of survivors in Thursday's crash. Union Aerospace, who funded the privately operated orbiter, stated that there were no survivors and the signal is part of the NAVCOM system's automated distress beacon. Critics of the massive corporation say the Europa signal is undeniably originating from one or more survivors, and the high costs of mounting a rescue operation have led to the UAC's refusal. In IPN's business news, Mixum Corporation has filed suit against rival company Moxin, claiming the company infringed on several pressure seal patents utilized in planetary bases. Moxim lawyers have threatened a countersuit, saying that Mixum creates inferior parts based on original Moxim designs. Senate majority leaders this morning approved a nearly $80.2 trillion spending plan. The plan includes cuts in funding for the lunar outpost and several planetary platforms, as well as major revisions to the public health care system. The plan also calls for cutting the budget deficit in half by 2147. Gentech firm Reutier met further resistance this week in its plans to introduce genetically manufactured health products on Earth. A longtime supplier to military and space sectors, genetically modified products have seen poor sales in the consumer market. Reutier's latest medkit technology was slated to hit stores next month. For IPN News, this is Roger McKellar with Subspace News on the Hour. What an elaborate video there to like put in the effort to create ah, so long. Someone new. It's always nice seeing new faces around here. Hope you enjoy your stay. This guy I've seems been very friendly. Four years. And my advice is to work hard and stay out of trouble. You want my advice? Don't go poking your nose around places you aren't supposed to. Okay, we'll try and take that advice. Got a PDA just here. Let's pick that up and see what it has to say. Uh, Adam Bernice. Uh, so he is a maintenance tech, general access, maintenance update. This is the audio log of maintenance technician Adam Bernace, dated November 10th, 2145. I fixed the couplings on the heat shields this morning with no problems. I did, however, have another odd experience while I was down there. Shortly after finishing the first coupling adjustment, I distinctly heard whispering. When I went to investigate the sounds, I found nothing check the work logs and I was the only person scheduled to be in that area today. That experience, coupled with the stories I've heard from some guys over at Delta Labs, has me pretty freaked out. I'm really beginning to hate going down to the underground maintenance area. People down there are a bit off, the mumbling, the weird looks. The whole place is just plain creepy. I'm always expecting someone to jump out at me. I've secured my tools and the busted modulator in the storage cabinet next to the maintenance elevator. Technicians should use cabinet code 396 to access them. End of log. Something to remember then, 396 to access the technician's locker there. Lost PDA. Uh, Adam, please take more caution in securing your personal data assistant. It's turned up and lost and found three times this month. As you know, your base security clearances are stored on that and it becomes a serious security issue any time a PDA is lost. Failure to secure your PDA could eventually result in your termination. Uh, we have a further email from Ethan, uh, Ethan Peterson here. Maintenance report needed. Uh, Adam, your report is long overdue. Record an audio log for what you've done today on your maintenance shift and send it to me immediately. I know you recorded the ca uh, recoded the cabinet today and it is imperative that I update my master list with a new code. I do not want to tell you again how important it is for the re to record those codes. So we already have it, 396. We'll try our best to remember that. Uh, Mr. Bernice, I have some great news for you. Your name came up on our latest management meeting as a possible candidate for our Delta Labs outreach program. As you have probably heard, we are conducting some very exciting and important experiments here in Delta. Someone in this room has coronavirus as well, just will not stop coughing. Your supervisor recommended you as a good candidate, and in fact he insisted you would be perfect for the job. I've reviewed your file, and I agree with this assessment. You will make a perfect test subject. Our work here is very important to the UAC, and you should feel privileged that you have a chance to be a part of it. Dr. K. Clearsky, Delta Future Systems. P.S. Remember, volunteering is the best choice. I'd hate to invoke Clause 12A of Section 543 of your employment contract, which, if you're not familiar with it, allows us to appoint volunteers. Miller, you hear about Corporal Allen? Yeah, they said he just lost it. Shipped home this week. We lose one, gain another. No shit. 
I wonder who they're gonna move to Bravo team now. Who knows? I just hope they don't take anyone from my squad. I hate pulling double shifts. I hear ya. Couple of security officers off duty here. Another replacement, huh? Another newbie. Welcome to the worst assignment you'll ever have. Listen up, newbie. I'll give you some advice. Keep your eyes open and stay focused. Come back for a drink when you get some free time. Yeah, I see people come and go around here all the time. I wonder how long you'll last. This place is always open if you want to come by and forget. Forget what exactly? Beautiful view of the Martian surface here. And look at this, we're going to interact with these. Some interactive computers affect equipment around you. This includes doors, shutters, locks, storage cabinets, and many other items. And we get a real great demonstration of the lighting system in this game. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, and that dynamic light coming on. It's so cool. I love these ironic sciences around here as well, bringing mankind one step closer to heaven. Super Turbo Turkey Super Puncher. Turbo Turkey Puncher 3. Lovely. Let's continue further on into the facility here. Yeah, so those suits arrived too. Weird. The UAC must be worried about something. I hear there's been more accidents in Delta. <laughs> accidents? That's good. Is that what they're calling him now? So, tell me. Just what the hell is happening over there? Beats me, man. Look, all I do is repair the converters when they blow, okay? That's it. Fine. But what's overloading them so much? I mean, how much damn power do they need? I wouldn't ask him if I was you, man. I heard Travis started poking around and he got transferred fast. Didn't even see him leave. Hell, no one saw him go. Was it one minute? On the next? Lucky bastard. Interesting. Let's move further into the facility here. Exciting volunteer positions are available now. Credit compensation offered for a qualified individual. See the many opportunities to reward yourself in your spare time. Let's look into this. Back to our own PDA here. Uh, we have a new email, I believe. Volunteer to earn extra credits. Delta Labs is looking for individuals to fulfill critical positions. You can help with our exciting breakthrough work and earn credits at the same time. Volunteers are needed in the following areas. Teleportation. We're looking for test subjects to stress test the new teleporters. Experience tomorrow's travel technology today. Medical research. Our, advancements for our advanced pharmaceutical team needs volunteers to participate in exciting medical studies. Help us find cures to everything from the common cold to Ebola 7. Specimen handling. We need volunteers to help handle and track the specimens gathered through Delta Labs experiments. Health test and liability waiver will be required. For more information about these opportunities or to post openings in your department, please see an HR coordinator. Interesting. Access here to Union's Aerospace Mars City compound. No, okay, we don't have access. Let's continue along this way. Oh, look at this animated sign here. Operations Marine Command, where we're going this way then. Dr. Braddock, please report to Environment Management Office 4 Alpha. Here we are arriving in Marine Command. Sergeant Kelly ASAP. He's in Command HQ. Don't waste any more time. Go see the Sarge. Sarge is going to have your ass if you don't get the Command HQ pronto. If you're late reporting in, Sarge will have you patrolling outside for a week. Now, if you've never played a video game before, anytime somebody points you in the direction to go, you always go the other way, because there'll be something to see. Infirmary on the left here. What happened to him? He is missing his entire face! Nicolas Cage got at him, I think. Jesus. Something horrifying happened to that man there. I can't be interrupted now. I've got work to finish. Please don't disturb me. Can't you see I'm busy? I'm doing very difficult work here. I can't be disturbed. My apologies. I'll leave you to it then. Let's continue around this way here. Delta asking for not just volunteers, but also additional security. Let's check out here, combat prep room. What have we got? Some sort of weapons locker here. A 
a new video disc, you can pick up video discs, audio logs, PDAs, and other items. When there is new information stored in your PDA, you will see either a flashing PDA or video disc on the lower left of the HUD, like there is right now. Let's check that out. What was our new video disc? Series 3 Plasma Gun Briefing. Let's check it. Last year, by the looks of things. Representing yet another great accomplishment of the UAC, the Series 3 Plasma Gun is an extremely versatile medium-range combat weapon. Harnessing the exhaustive resources of synthetic plasma, the plasma gun meets the critical requirement of low-cost, abundant ammunition for today's highly mobile military. Capable of sustained firepower due to the latest advancements in plasma injector technology, this weapon's lightweight and high yield make it desirable for most combat scenarios. Always on the forefront of technology, the UAC is making safer worlds through superior firepower. What a slogan. I love these videos. Maybe we'll get access to this thing. There it is, lying on the table there. Also, a hell of a lot of machine guns. I can see some shotguns lying around as well. Plenty of body armor and medikits here too. Let's continue along through this way. This guy here, working on one of these little drones we saw walking around earlier. I'm trying uh, to reconfigure this little guy. I can't talk now. Hey, this is tricky business. I can't be hassled. If you need something, go talk to Sarge. Okay, we're almost at Sarge's location. What's this guy I got to say? Don't you have some orders you need to be following? You're too busy to talk now. Got lots of work here. Sorry. Ton of information passing through this control center here. We're approaching Marine HQ. Powerful weapon on the roof here. Just FYI, I think there might be an audio bug in this next room. You'd be warned. Sweet time, Marine. Now, here's the situation. Another member of the science team's gone missing. Since you're the ranking FNG, you get to find him. I want you to check out the old decommissioned comm facility. We heard he might be heading that way. The only way there is through the service passage under Mars City. I've programmed the sentry to guide you to the maintenance elevator. I hope you follow the sentry better than you've followed orders so far. We'll get you here at the security checkpoint at the bottom of the elevator. Oh, and when you find him, just bring him back. Do not hurry. Now move out. Okay, we've got our orders. We were hunting for that uh, Jonathan Ishii, I think it was. We had a report saying that he was missing. Let's pursue our spider friend here. He's going to lead us to where we're going, back through this facility. Attention UAC personnel. Interested in earning more credits? Volunteer at Delta Labs today. See your service branch director for more details. He said that he saw some strange creatures or something down in Delta. He said it wasn't human. What? He can't believe anything that guy says. Just tell him that's what he said. I don't know if it's true. Another reason I can't keep to get out of here. Something is going on in the Delta Labs there. I love the way this guy turns around and looks for you. Like, where have you gone? It's like a dog. <laughs> Truger's still there on the right. Passing his friend here. This is a new area for us. Okay. Found the area. Let's head down here. It's an ominous air in the we have uh, listen to Adam Bernice's audio log, which was downloaded to your PDA when you picked it up. To open this cabinet, three, nine, six, and there we go. Got some bullets, some uh, extra ammo, then, and some large kind of um, well, I don't know, device down there at the bottom. A couple top secret containers. There's an awful lot of top secret containers I've noticed in this first area. Speaking of first areas, we're done with it. Call the elevator here. And now we're going to progress down into the underground facility. Click to exit Mars City, transferring to Mars City subsystem. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll be back soon with the next episode of Doom 3. No, no, please. You must let me get this communication out. They have to be warned while there is still time. I can't let... I, you don't know what I've seen. You can't possibly understand or comprehend. The devil is real. I know. I built his cage. Oh,